What are some skinny people problems? People telling me that I should gain weight not realizing that that could be just as hurtful as saying you should lose weight to a fat person. People telling you every day, all the time, how you're skinny. The constant body shaming that everyone in life throws at you. Belts. Eating at a restaurant trying to force myself to eat everything so I wouldn't get any comments about not being able to finish my food, this was a lot when I was younger. SMH LOL. America is fat. Clothes are made for the fat people. Not being dummy thick. Former chubby guy here. Sitting in hard surfaces sucks because my bony ass hurts is probably my biggest complaint. People stare at you more because hot. Can't get up to go to the bathroom when I'm at dinner with people I don't know, because it's frequently assumed that I'm going to purge. I've always been skinny, but I don't think I look sick skeptical in high school I ate like trash in an effort to gain even a little weight to get people to shut up about how skinny I was, and now I'm paying the price years later with really unhealthy eating habits and being so weak that a stiff wind could take me out smile. Skinny shaming. Being told to eat more by strangers. Everyone always assuming you have an eating disorder and feeling free to say so to you. Constantly being pestered by doctors about weight percentiles. Finding pants that are long enough yet fit snugly around the waist and legs. Many many problems. Being accused of eating disorders, people judging what you eat, too much and too little, clothes don't fit right. I'm pretty flat. Chested so shirts that have any kind of cleavage are not flattering on me. Being flat chested I have also been accused of being trans even though I'm cis, much love to the trans community for all of the shit they have to go through to be accepted in society. You are all valid and worthy. Anyone who's not as skinny as you using you as an emotional punching bag. As a bean pole, all these comments are facts. The uncomfortable sitting slash laying down, the comments to eat more, seen as weak by peers. But what they don't see is the ability to sneak by without touching someone. Ability to walk as quiet as a ninja. Ability reach into tight spaces. Ability to wear clothes from high school and beyond. Ability to cut through water like a shark. Also, the flat foot slav squat makes people jelly. Getting told to eat more by people cold. For so very long I thought I was resistant to heat naturally, turns out it was just the fat and I freeze like anyone else now. Used to be skinny, flexed biceps, weightlifter. Always being cold. A lot of people listing physical issues, which was probably the intent behind the question. But the thing I hate most is that people feel they are free to be incredibly rude slash insensitive to you about your physical appearance. Things like you're so skinny it's disgusting, or in one girl's case, who I had a crush on, telling me she'd never date me because I'm too skinny be good at sex, like WTF, I was slim, hardly freakishly skinny. You replace those comments with fat directed at someone who's overweight and people would be appalled. Everyone else is fat. You have no ass. You're so skinny. Do some squats. You need to eat more. Do you ever eat? It's rude to comment on anyone's body, period. And also finding clothes is a fucking bitch. T-shirts, they either fit well but are too short, or fit way too big but are the correct length. Pants, I can never find my pants size, it's rare. I hate clothes shopping because of it. When the girl weighs heavier than you in bed, speak no evil monkey. Can't buy clothes at Costco. You'll be fat when you hit 20. You'll be fat when you hit 23. You'll be fat when you hit 30. You'll be fat when you hit 35. You'll be fat when you hit 40. You'll be fat when you hit 45. Still waiting. Cold. Always cold, especially when you live with overweight people. Always cold. People automatically thinking you have anorexia. You can't really find any clothes that fit on you, they're either too short or just too baggy. Sitting on wooden chairs slash laying on the floor is extremely painful, in pay class I could just cry sometimes. 
not having enough energy to do anything. If you don't eat when you're hungry you'll lose your energy very quickly so we pass out pretty often, at least I do. People we talk with, like people we just met, always say oh you're so skinny. Like please, we know, you don't have to remind us. It gives skinny people anxiety. People thinks being skinny is just great, whenever it's not. They often say oh my I'm so fat, I wish I were like you or can we swap? Some of us is suffering and people just doesn't want to realize that. Also, another question is why can't you just eat? It's much more complicated than it seems. It can come with mental issues, health problems, some people were just born like this and they can't gain weight no matter how hard they try if you see slash know someone who's skinny please don't talk with them about it because some of us feels really uncomfortable about this theme. Almost being blown away if it gets too windy. Being called anorexic. Being asked if you eat enough. Having to hear that you look like a girl instead of a woman because you don't have enough curves. Finding clothes that don't make you look like a 90s kid who only had wore me downs. Though the current oversized trend is helping with that. People saying you can't complain about your pregnant belly because it's not that huge, but in proportion it feels like you are an elephant. Being scared of becoming ill because you lose a whole lot of weight that is incredibly hard to gain back. I could go on for a while, but people like to judge you, thinking this is my choice. It isn't. When you're in a room with obese people who are too hot so they turn the air conditioning up really high. Oh man, finally my moment to shine. I'm not sure if this is cultural in Mexico but many people think skinny equals your family doesn't feed you slash you think you're better than anyone else slash you are an a-hole slash you don't want to eat. There's so much hate, everyone just has to comment on your appearance, even with good comments some people are like you're so cute you are so small I wish I was like you how do you do it? I know it's not with bad intention, but I do not want to start every conversation with why I'm skinny, or they just make it my whole personality, it's never oh she's the girl that does x it's just that super skinny girl. Clothes I like never get to my size, it's always bigger or kids, and I'm a size 2 mx my foot is 18 centimeters long, I cannot find heels, and when I do they are too wide, shoes normally start at 3 thirds dot 5 mx here. Cold oh so cold. Stop picking me up. Me being small and skinny and easy to get picked up doesn't mean it's okay to do it, it's creepy and everyone deserves boundaries over who touches them or how. Having remarks passed about how skinny you are and sometimes being asked why you don't eat more. Sometimes in roller coasters you don't feel super secure in the harness or seat belt. It's difficult to find pants, skirts and dresses that are ready for me to wear. My waist is much smaller than my hips, so I always have to adjust my clothes, even though I'm fairly slim. Poking an extra hole in a belt cause it doesn't tighten enough. People think they are allowed to make fun of you and body shame you for being underweight. They think well, you're not fat though, so it's alright. It really sticks with me and it affects me to this day as I never leave any skin on my arms or legs exposed in public for the fear that someone will point out my arms or legs and comment on how scrawny I am. It's really frustrating and not alright. People who also say oh my god I wish I was as skinny as you are almost as bad. It's incredibly frustrating when people say that because I've been underweight most of my life. I'm a 15 year old male and just a few months ago I was 5 feet 10 inches and 110 pounds so you saying that you wish you were as skinny as me is you telling me that me being at an incredibly unhealthy size is ideal. Feels good to vent about that lol. Skinny fat, the first and last place fat gathers is right at the waist. You can be skinny all over with noticeable fat all along the waist. It's the worst of both worlds. So I got completely shredded with veins in my abs while still being able to deadlift 500 pounds and bench 300. The worst part was honestly people not understanding the suffering it took to get to that point. Hearing comments like you're so lucky was pretty annoying. People bringing up how you can't finish your meal when you're out to dinner. 
American portion sizes can be large. Happened to me at a fusion place when meeting ex-girlfriend's dad. You don't teach much huh?